Today I'm checking out this weather station by Vever. Let's take it out of the box and see what it comes with. All right, so as you can see, there's a lot of pieces that come inside the box. There are a few pieces that need to be put together. Most of it looks pretty simple because it's just, you know, the adapters and so forth to hang it. And then a couple of the little dials that go on top. There's the screen that you do inside and that is the manual. I looked at the manual already and it has steps to put all of this together. Should be straightforward, so read the manual. I'm gonna put this thing together and we're gonna test it out. All right, and it's all put together now. It does come with all the screws and everything that you need to put it together. There is this screwdriver and this little Allen key type screwdriver also here to put things together. That works out really well to get it all done like this. Everything was actually really easy to put together. Just follow the manual. It's got good illustrations, tells you how to put everything in. Just make sure you pay attention on which one of these is the actual directional and which one of these is the wind speed. Uh, it points that out in the manual, but you just have to pay attention to that so you don't put them on the wrong spots. But other than that, I mean, this thing was really easy to set up. I even already have the Wi-Fi and both of these paired. Basically, to pair these things, you just turn them on, right? You got to put the battery pack in. There is a battery pack already installed in here. So when you get it and you open up this case, the battery pack is in there, but it's not connected. Probably to keep it from just completely running the battery out, you'll notice the battery pack is connected because this little red light down here will start blinking to let you know the battery's in there and working. But you do got to take this lid off and actually plug them together. Of course, it's got a solar panel, which is really cool because now you can just mount this thing outside and the battery pack stays charged. You don't have to worry about your batteries running out and everything outside. I really like that. And it's got this really cool pivoting type of pole that's in there so you can get it nice and level. You do want these things level when you install them so that way the wind speed, the direction, all that stuff is nice and accurate. Uh, a little bit off isn't terrible, but you want to get it as close as you can to level. So, And to do that, you know, you just tighten up the screws down there once you got it where you want it. This screen has basically everything you want to know. Of course, indoor temperature, outdoor temperature and humidity. It's also got wind speed. It's got the wind direction. It's got, you know, the rain that you got in the last event. I mean, just all of these. You got your time, just light, the luminosity outside, the UV. It's really cool. It's got everything out there. It's got all kinds of settings that you can go in there and do. Again, all of this is in the manual. I check out the manual. You can even just like touch the top of here and change the levels of the light. So really cool device. It's even got pop out legs on the bottom so that way you can have it stand up like this. It comes with the plug so that way you don't have to have batteries in it. There is a place to put some AAA batteries in there and that's to kind of keep it as like a battery backup in case the power goes out and everything. You don't have to reset everything. So um, you may want to put those in. But yeah, other than that, this is really simple. So far, it's really cool. Let's get this thing outside and installed. All right, and I got it hung up here on the side of our pergola. It mounted up real nice and easy. It did say in the instructions that, you know, you want to mount the rain gauge portion toward the north and the solar panel toward the south. So that way it gets good calibration and, and all of that. But it looks like it's doing just fine. And I used my phone as a compass to make sure I was mounting it in the right directions. And I'm going to go inside and make sure it's still recording properly. All right, now that I've got the weather station installed in the backyard, you can kind of see here it's already picking up and it even still has four bars here which is pretty good since that's in the backyard and i'm in the front of the house it's picking up outside temperature is different and the humidity is different than it is here in the inside it was picking up just a minute ago some some wind speed but it is pretty calm outside with really no wind it is getting dark outside so it's not picking up any light or uv from the sensor which would make sense it's pretty dark out there looks good so yeah this is pretty nice i really like it and it's got all the information that I would expect. Definitely going to be keeping this in the kitchen so we can keep abreast of all the, you know, weather outside. So I hope this review was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all take care.